Hi, Andy. Hey, good morning. Yeah. Mom, so glad to hear things are going better with Lulu. Yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll get some 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 more good news today. We have a new friend on from um, Collier Parkway. So funny, Addison dances with her daughter. Hi. Oh and hi. Her daughter Alina is watching, so they're just All looking right. at her. Right now. How are you today? How are you? So you're good. I'm <laughs> good. Hi, Abigail. Hi. Hi, Luke. <laughs> hey, Luke. Hi, Luke. Hi. I'm going to say hi. Parents, Parents, if you can put the child name on the profile, that helps us know who everyone is. Mom, Mom, the I'm my nose. Is that Peyton? It says Bobby, but I think it's Peyton. Am I right? I, I think so too. <laughs> Hi, Peyton. Hi, Andy. <laughs> Hi. Good morning. <laughs> My yes. Um, my dog is down right now. Your doggy is what? This is Levin. Can I have a nap? Mm -hmm. yeah. My dog's napping too. Yeah. Good morning, Landon. Levin. Mm. <laughs> Hi, Addie. Hey, hey Mom, that girl put her finger in her mouth. No, don't do that. There you go. Mom, that's when I'm sucking in my mouth. Let's put it. I just kind of put it on. Parents, for those of you just coming on, if you put your child's name in your profile, uh, that helps us uh, know who everyone is and also gives us the opportunity to give them a little shout out either during music or later in the show when uh, we have Karen will call on different kids. And Levin, I was calling you Peyton. I'm so sorry. Good morning, Levin. Good to see you. Say good morning. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Good to see you. She says hi. Hi, Harrison. Hi, Ruhani. They can all hear you. Good morning. Or the class caterpillar. Hi, Dean. He got a sandwich. He looks like mm, a He does. Jimmy, <laughs> All right, parents, for those of you that are just coming on, if you can uh, leave your child's name in the profile, that will give us a call on them later in the show. All right, I, I am going to go ahead and uh, mute everyone. Oh, I think we lost Andy.
Mute all of us. I am, but we lost Miss Angie. Where did she go? I'm so sorry. Um, where's the curriculum again? Where I, I'm on the reading corner online. What's that? Where's the curriculum again? Uh, it's on reading corner online. If you go to Karen's weekly picks, it's in there. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Trust me, you guys do not want me singing. We gotta find this. Why are those kids doing? <laughs> I wanna work. My teacher is doing. I wanna work. My teacher is doing. We're waiting for the teacher. <clears throat> All right, guys, we're going to get started in just a second. Aunt, Miss Angie got uh, kicked off of the meeting here for some reason, so she's trying to sign back on. Oh, there she is. Okay. I think we have her back. Let me find her. There she is. I have no internet connection all of a sudden. Oh, is that what happened? So I just have to adjust my light and my Yeah, turn your volume up too. Uh, yes, you need to move it closer to you because I can barely hear you and I've got my volume turned way up. Better? How's that? That's better. You're still not very loud. Um, I can hear, can you hear me? I can hear you now, yeah. Okay. All right. Are we good? Am I loud enough? Uh, yes, we are good. Let me. I can try my microphone. Yeah, try it if you have it. Try it. Yeah, go ahead and try it. Everyone may um, everyone may have to turn up your volume. I guess put in the chat if you're having any problems hearing her. Try to turn your volume all the way up. Um, but that's better. I can definitely hear you. Okay. All right. Good morning. I'm so sorry about that. All of a sudden, my internet went down. It's raining here, so that may have something to do with it. Not sure. But um, I'm so happy to see you. Thanks for joining me. Happy Thursday. So we're going to start with 
Ashley, let's just move right into literacy stories. Let's do that. I've already said good morning to um, all of our friends watching. I hope you heard me. Um, we're going to start with our literacy story today. So this is under Reading Corner Online. Um, it's under Karen's Weekly Picks. And we are doing the toddler bundle, bundle this morning. So our title is Farm Animals. Can you see that? Farm animals. Now, if you look at your pictures, our picture cues are gonna help us figure out what farm animals we're talking about. Are you ready? So, here's our sight word, I. It's also the letter I, isn't it? I, do you know? It has the beginning sound of the letter S, and it has P, P. The sound is P. So let's put it together. P. That's right. It's C, the word C. I see six pictures. There's two of them, aren't there? They're big, and these ones are right on top. And they make Big mooing sounds. Can everyone say moo? Is that the sound that a cow makes? I see cows because there's two of them, aren't there? One, two. Good job. Our next one, there's our sight word I, also the letter I. E. Let's look at our picture cue. They're little baby chickens. What are they called? They're called chicks. Can you make beep, 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 That's what sound a chick makes, isn't it? I see chicks. Good job. Our next sentence. I see. There's two of them. Sometimes people use their fur for wool to make sweaters. They kind of have their own big sweaters, don't they? I see sheep. That's right. What sound does a sheep make? Does it say ba? Abigail, are you making a sheep sound? Ba. <laughs> Good job. Our fourth sentence is I. See, what are those? They're pigs, that's right, they're pink. What sound do they make? Can you make a pig sound with me? <laughs> There's two pigs, aren't there? I see pigs. Our fifth sentence says, I, there's our sight word and the letter I, See, let's look at our picture cue. They're not chickens, are they? What sound do these make? They get up really early before any other animal and they wake everybody up. Do you know what sound a rooster makes? They say, cock-a-doodle-doo. That's right, say it with me. Cock-a-doodle-doo. They're really funny. They're early risers, aren't they? I see roosters, because there's two of them. One, two, good job. Next, our last sentence. I, there's our sight word. See, another sight word. What's our picture cue? They kind of sound like a sheep. Bah. Okay. A different animal starts with a g sound, a g sound for goat. I see goat. Nice work. Now, I'm sorry, moms and dads. I see that some of you are struggling to hear me. My internet went down. I'm not sure what happened. Hopefully, you can still hear me. 
we're going to turn to our fruit patterns. So under Reading Corner Online, you'll find this activity. It is using an AB pattern with fruit. Let's see if we can figure it out together. All right. So we have an AB pattern. That means we have two items in this pattern. Ready? I have a pear and a strawberry. If I want to continue that pattern, what comes next? That's right. It's a pear. Find your pear and stick it down in the next box. So I have a piece of tape. I'm going to stick it down right here. So now we have pear, strawberry, pear. What comes next? That's right. It's a strawberry. Nice job, Alina. Yay. So we're going to stick our strawberry down beside our pear. You get it. Pear, strawberry, pear, strawberry. What comes next? Yes, the pear. Good job. You have figured out our AB pattern. I am very happy and proud of you. Nice work. So the last thing then has to be a strawberry. And that completes our pear strawberry AB pattern. Can we say it together? Pear, strawberry, pear, strawberry, pear, strawberry. We did it. Let's do the orange grape pattern and see if we can do as well as we did with the pear strawberry pattern. Are you ready? So we have an orange. What color is it? <laughs> I'm so silly. It's orange, isn't it? And we have purple grapes, don't we? So let's see what comes next. Orange, good job. So I'm going to stick the orange in the next box. So now we have orange grape. Orange, what comes next? Yes, good job. I see Alina's getting high fives all over the place. Did you say it too, Abigail? How about you, Jake? Did you get it? Nice work, friends. So we have orange, grape. Orange, grape. What comes next? Nice work. And last but not least, let's see if we can figure it out. Orange, grape. Orange, grape. Orange, grape. That's right. What color are the grapes? Do you remember? They are purple, aren't they? I had purple grapes for dessert last night. They were delicious. All right, boys and girls, maybe you can finish the apple, pineapple pattern later today. And moms and dads, this will be available on YouTube later, so you can follow along again. Our next amazing activity is gumball jars. Now we have two empty jars. There's not much fun in an empty gumball jar, is there? No. I have the number five. Good job. That's right. Show me five. Nice job, Abigail. Valerie, show me five. <laughs> and then I have the number six over here. 
So six is five and one is six, right? So we've got to put five gumballs in this jar and six gumballs in this jar. Can we do it? Yes, we can. We have these gumballs already cut out. So it's going to be really fun to fill the gumball jar. Hopefully we can have some gum too. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, we have five gumballs. Are you ready? Let's count. One, two. I hope you're counting with me. Three. What color is this one? It's just like the grapes. It's purple. Four. What color is this one? It's blue. There's two blue gumballs in the gumball jar. And last but not least, it's yellow. That's right. We have five gumballs now in our gumball jar. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Give me a high five. High five! Good job, you did it! Kiss your brain. Well done. All right, let's move to this one now. Do you remember how many gumballs we have to put in this jar? Can you see this number? It's the number six. That's right, isn't it? It's the number six. So let's see if we can find six gumballs to put in this jar. Oh, there's one. What color is it? You know it, it's orange, good. One. Oh, what color is this gumball? It's green, nice job. Two. What color is this one? It's red, nice work. Three. Okay, we already have three. We need three more gumballs to make six. Let's see if we can find them. Here's another orange one. Nice work. Four. Here's a pink one. There's five. How many more gumballs do we need to fill this jar? Let's count what we have. One, two, three, Four, five, we need one more gumball to make six. Let's see. What color is this one? It's red, that's right, nice job. There's our six gumballs. Phew, that was a lot of counting, wasn't it? Let's have a round of applause, yay! I am proud of you. Okay, our last activity for our toddler bundle today is our toddler nursery rhyme bundle. Looks just like this. It's under Reading Corner Online under toddler nursery rhyme bundle. And this week we're doing how many monkeys? Five little monkeys. Are you ready? I want to see you guys counting. I want to see your monkeys jumping on the bed. Are you ready? So we're gonna count from five to none, to zero, right? All right, let's see if we can avoid that doctor getting upset with us, right? <laughs> All right, we have one, two, three, four, five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So let's take one monkey off. How many monkeys are left? One, two, three, four. Let's try it. Four little monkeys. 
skis jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. <gasps> Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. <gasps> we have to take one off. How many are gonna be left? If we take one off, there were four. Now there's one, two, three. Let's do it. Show me three. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. We've got to take one off. We're taking one monkey off. That means there's two monkeys left. Let's make sure, let's count them. One, two. All right, show me two monkeys. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many are left? We have to take one off. There's only one little monkey. I think he's probably lonely. Or maybe he's enjoying his space, right? One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. We did it. Well done, friends. I'm so proud of you. We did it. Next week, we're going to have a brand new nursery rhyme, new literacy stories, and we'll see you back on Tuesday. It's time for music. So I'm going to hand it back to Andy and see if I can make the volume a little bit better. Andy, can you hear me? Uh, we can, yeah. And I think it's gotten better. Um, do you have a micro? Do you have the microphone? I do, but I don't have that little piece. I can run and grab it. Yeah, go run and grab it. It's okay. Okay, I'll be right back. All right. A lot of people eating breakfast I'm seeing. Looks yummy. Uh, hey, Jake. There's Harlow and Kennedy. Hi, Gabriella. Sitting outside again today. Uh, who else we got? There's Harrison. Hi, Robert. Amzan Omar, you guys are eating again. What's for breakfast? What are you eating? What are you eating? Big cucumber. Oh, wow. Healthy breakfast. <laughs> All right. Hi, Ruhani. Hi, Addie. Hi, Robert. Okay, okay, is that better? Yes, it is. Yes? Now we are no. in business. Yes. Hang on. And I can hear you, unfortunately. You can't. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Luke, for saying that. Yay. Yes. Okay. I'm super glad that's working a little better. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. So it's a work in progress. I have no internet connection, so I'm using my phone. It's a little different. Forgive me. Andy, are we ready to go? Yes. Hmm. You can't All right, see I'm just gonna assume yes. <laughs> okay, so welcome to music. I'm sorry about the, um, I don't know, lack of technology, um, but we're doing the best we can. I'm so happy you're here. We've got a great playlist today and I'm so glad you can hear me a little better. So we have, I, and everything's on my phone, of course. Um, <laughs> this is kind of bizarre. All right, we're gonna start with Eensy Weensy Spider.
gosh. Oh my goodness. I'm going to take Hey. Um, so I have to access, I'm on my phone. I have to access my music app, um, which I think maybe took me off. Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. Um, I, can't, I can't hear my music and I can't um, with the microphone in. So I'm going to take the microphone off. Can you hear me okay without it? Uh, yeah, you've got to be. Right now, you're pretty, you're, we can barely hear you. Um, I wonder if I should try signing in with my laptop again. What do you want to do? What do you think? You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead, you can try. We're gonna, I'm gonna get Karen signed in just in case it doesn't work. Um, and then we can, if we have to move on to her, we will. I understand. Forgive okay. Me. about Miss Angie music. So unfortunately you might just get stuck with me. But we'll see. Is that Hudson? Hi Hudson. Addison. Oh, Addison's downstairs. This is your friend Alina. Hi Alina. Hi. Eunice, Eunice, what are you making right there? What is that? Blocks. You're making some blocks? I love it. Addison Hudson's on. All right, so clearly this is not our um, best performance yet, but we are almost to 1030. And I know you guys love this Angie music time. It's all of our favorite time, especially right now having that great music. But we're gonna move on to our um, 1030 class. So um, I'm going to get started in a couple minutes, but I need to wait for Mr. Andy. Andy, are you going to try again? Um, I'd love to if you'll have me. Yeah, I, I'm sure they would much rather hear you than me. <laughs> Addison. Oh, you like Hudson. Jack said I'm going to say Andy Hudson. Here. Remember? No, Hudson. Say hi to Hudson. Now he's going to be all bashful. Yeah, let's just make sure my phone is going to work. So let's turn off Zoom. Here. Okay. You guys are being so patient. Yes. So patient. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sorry, everybody. This has not been our day. Um, I think, am I ready? Okay, I'm going to move in front of my camera. All right, let's get moving. Hang on, you're not on. Oh. Now you are. Okay. I think we need to get moving a little bit. So I'm going to. Wait till we're done echoing. We're going to practice our jelly bean song game. Remember, every time we see a yellow jelly bean, we have to get up and jump. You think Mr. Andy should get up with us too? I think Mr. Andy needs to as well. All right. So we're going to do I say or you say. Ready? I say j. You say. I say. You say. I say, if I, you say, I say, ooh, 
You say. I say. Mm. You say. I say. Mm. You say. I feel it vibrating, right? I say. Woo, woo. You say. Oh, it's a jelly bean. Everybody get up and jump. Andy, I already shut that door. Okay, you guys ready? We're gonna count by fives. Okay, ready? Let's go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Jack is laughing at Mr. Andy because he's jumping. I think Jack needs to jump next time. Okay, I say F-E, you say I say a a a. You say. I say. You say. No, oh, I see one coming. I say g j. You say. <gasps> it's a jelly bean. Everybody, get up. Okay, now we're gonna count by tens. So we'll go really fast. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, good. Go ahead and sit down. You guys are so good at your letter sounds. I love it. What's that? Oh, parents, before we forget, make sure that you put your child's name on the Zoom um, where it says Zoom name so that we can call out um, different kids. Because if it says like an iPad, we don't know their name, so we can't call them out. So make sure you um, add that. Okay. I say, you say, I say, mm, you say, I think I already did the puff. I say, you say, I say, mm, you say, <gasps> it's another television. Everybody get up. I want to see you all up. We're gonna count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 20, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. Okay, sit down. All right, parents, I can't. Parents. We are using the early preschool week six curriculum. So we are gonna be using Thursday. If you don't have access to the curriculum, go into um, readingcorneronline.com for $7.99 for the month. We're gonna be doing the next four weeks. So it's a really great time to try our um, curriculum out. Um, for $7.99, you can get access to the curriculum and then make sure you follow Reading Corner Online because every Monday I tell you exactly where to go to get the curriculum. But you want to jot it down. It's the same place every time. It's Reading Corner Online, Access Library, um, Karen's Weekly Picks, and then Early Preschool. And then you'll see it in there. So we are doing Thursday's curriculum. I'm actually really excited today because we're going to do some making words. So parents, you'll see in the curriculum there are these letters. Um, we are only using... Well, we can get to that afterwards, but you can pull them out as we get them. But I would recommend while I'm doing this activity with your kiddos, that I recommend you cut the letters out so they can be making the words with us. I love making words. I think it's one of my favorite things. Okay, so the activity that you guys should have in front of you, oh, and we're doing some bears during math. It's gonna be a fun day. We've got a lot of fun stuff. All right, so this is the activity that we're doing. So I'm gonna be calling on some of you to see if you guys can help me. Before we learn the ending sounds of these, we're just gonna play a word game. So Mr. Andy, if you want to pick somebody. I can't hear anything about this. Lane. I hear. Hi, Lane. Is that Sloan? Hi, Ava. Hi. Hi, she's guys. in the back. I see her. She, so she's cute. a crazy baby. She's a crazy baby. She is a crazy baby. Okay, can you help me? Okay, do you have this activity in front of you? Yes. Yes, okay. 
And Ava, you know, I know you can help her as well. Okay, I'm gonna say a word and you guys, you point, if you're not on right now, make sure you're pointing as well. Okay, my word, um, Lane, is wagon. What's my word? Wagon. Wagon, everybody point to the wagon. What sound do you hear at the end of wagon? What sound do you hear at the end of it? Listen to my word, Lane. Wagon. Mm. What makes the n mm sound? Letter N. N. Good job. So you guys find the wagon and circle that N. Awesome. Okay, Lane. My word. This is a hard one. You ready? Still working. Okay, hey, Lane. Ready? My word is sad. 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 Do you see a little girl that is sad? Look on your paper. Does everybody else see it? Listen. What sound do you hear at the end of sad? D, 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 d. What yeah. makes the What makes the d, d? Good job. So everybody, find your d and circle sad. Okay, this is a long, a big word. Are you ready? Hey, buddy, Tommy. Yes. Okay, ready? Astronaut. 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 Great job. And what sound do you hear at the beginning or at the end of astronaut? Look at my fingers. He has a costume. He does have a costume, right? It's cute. What sound do you hear at the end of astronaut? T. T. Good job. All right, I miss you guys. Thanks for joining and helping me. All right, let's pick on somebody else. Not pick on. Let's call on somebody else. Huh? Omar. Hi, buddy. Say hi, Hamza. Are you with your cucumbers? I am. <laughs> oh, that's Hamza. Silly. Hamza, are you all done with your cucumbers? Are you done? Yeah. Okay, Hamza. This is my word. B. Air. Bear. Bear. I saw you looking at it. Good job. What sound do you hear at the end of bear? Rrr. Say it. She can't see. Pointing. Rrr. What letter? Uh. Oh, good job. Everybody find the bear and circle. Oh, Miss Karen was silly. She put an S. Cir right. Circle the R. Is it wrong? I'll write, I'll write an R over here. Oh. Silly Miss Karen, it looks like I have a, a mistake. Okay, let's do it different. Everybody, um, what sound do you hear at the beginning of b, b bear? I'm sorry, she's talking to you. At the beginning. Oh, someone is so smart. Luke, I think you're right. Guys, this is why I need your help. It's not a bear, it's a cub. So silly. <laughs> All right, let's try this one more time. Okay, what sound do you hear at the end of cub? Me. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I needed all your help today. Okay, <laughs> circle the B. Okay, are you ready for another one? My word is ladder. 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 Good job. What sound do you hear at the end of ladder? Er. Say it. You gotta say it. R. R. That finally we have one that has an R. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Great help. All right. Let's quickly do the rest of them, and then we're going to move on to our making words. So parents, make sure you get those letters ready. My word is ape. What's my word? Tape. What sound do you hear at the end of tape? A P. You're right. Circle the P on tape. Okay? My word is m. Mm, Ilk. Mmm. Ilk. Milk. What sound do you hear at the end of milk? <laughs> yeah, it's the K. So find your milk and circle the K. Okay, listen. My word is ag. Tag. And what sound do you hear at the end of tag? A G. 
Okay, so find that tag and circle the G. Okay, my last word is mittens. Mittens. What sound do you hear at the end of mittens? Right, it's an S. All right, we're gonna do something a little bit different. And instead of using the easel, we are going to be using my book chart back here, my um, pocket chart. So I'm gonna move this over. I'm gonna scoot you guys a little bit ahead so you can really see these letters as I'm making the words. You don't even have to see me. Okay, so let's first talk about, oh, I got a little bit of glare. Okay, let's first talk about which letters I have. What sound does this letter make? Mmm. What sound does this letter make? Brr. What sound does this letter make? Mmm. What sound does this letter make? What sound does this letter make? What sound does this letter make? G, J. What sound does this letter make? Good job. Okay, we're gonna start by making words in the at family. So you can put the A and the T next to each other. And we're gonna just change the beginning letter of these, okay? So, and even if you don't have the letters, you can still be doing this with me. My word is What sound do you hear at the beginning of at? Yeah, an H, and you can call on somebody to help me. So we have the word hat. Now, if I take away the H, hi, Evelyn. Evelyn, can you help me make some words? Yes, okay. Evelyn, if I wanna make the word rat, what letter am I going to put at the beginning? R rat. Um, uh, R. Yep. R. At. All right. I'm going to take away the R. Good job. All right, Evelyn, what if I wanted to make the word mat? What word would I put at the beginning of mat? M. M. Ah. Let's try some different words. Let's try some ot words. All right, Evelyn, what if I wanted to write the word hot? What sound would I put at the beginning of hot? H, you're right. Okay, now I'm going to do something a little different. I want to make the word hog. Hog. What letter would you hear at the beginning of, at the end of hog? G. G, 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 G. You're right. Good job. Okay. What if, oh, now you're going to have to help me with two letters. I want to make the word ham. Ah. What makes the ah, ah, ah sound? A. A. Ham. Mm. M. M. Good job. Ham. All right. Thanks, Evelyn. I'm going to call one more person to help me make some other words. Hi, Abigail. Hi. Hi. Can you help me make some words today? Okay. All right. So listen, I want to make the word ran. What letter do you hear at the beginning of ran? R. R. Ran. Mm. Oh my goodness, you are so smart. All right, we've got the word ran. <laughs> you are so silly. <laughs> okay, now take away the R, and now I want to make the word tan. E. T. T. Good job. Tan. Let me see, what is another word I can make? Let's try the word. Hmm. 
Let's try the word sun. What letter do you hear at the beginning of sun? S. S. Oh, you don't have to yell so loud. <laughs> All right, that's the word sun. Now, if I take away the S and I make the word ton, what sound do you hear? T. T. Awesome. Ton. All right, we're going to make one more word that I just thought of. This is a gross word. This is the word rot. What sound do you hear at the beginning of rot? R what letter makes the R sound? Abigail. What letter makes the R sound? Oh. <laughs> or we can just put cereal on our nose. Okay. Boys and girls, help me. R uh <laughs> What makes it be? We got you back. All right. So parents, I love making words. I honestly, in the classroom, I probably do this at least once a week when the kids were little. This is basically what I did all the time. Um, so I recommend you keep using these over and over. There are extra letters that I put in the um, curriculum so you can make different words. Um, who are we going to now for math? It is. Miss Penny is going to do our math today. Can you guys all say good morning, Miss Penny? What? Oh my goodness, oh, I'm not yes, doing math. Right. I'm not doing math. I'm doing writing letters oh, and that's right. Uh, yeah. Hi, friends. Are you doing, doing math, Allison? I'm doing math. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Good morning, everyone. I think it's, I think it's wacky Thursday, right? <laughs> I think it's like, so I'm so glad you're here this morning. You guys are all looking good. All right, let's start off with a cheer. Uh, I got some mayors we got to count later. So, but I think we need to get our wiggles out. Maybe, maybe. So, all right, let's do uh the firecracker fireworks cheer okay start down really low and and then we're gonna clap and then go oh all right ready start down low ready and clap and oh i love that let's do that again ready start down low Oh my gosh. All right, let's go. Now, if uh, hopefully you have some uh, bear um, worksheet or curriculum at home. If not, you can come along with me and, and we can learn together. Is that a good idea? Yes, yes. All right, we're working with, I like calling them the gummy bears because I had a friend the other day that said she was hoping for gummy bears, because I like candy. You like candy? You guys like candy? I do. All right, so these are just bears, but we can maybe pretend that they're gummy bears, okay? Is that a good idea? All right, now, I thought we'd practice reading the sentence, and then you can help me maybe count or talk about the color and things like that. So either use this pointer or this pointer, whatever you'd like. I like this one. This is my favorite. Okay. Here's the sentence up top, up top. It says, I see two yellow bears. Do you see two yellow bears? Yes, I do. Now at home, if you've cut those bears out, you could slide them over and make sure you have two yellow bears in those spots. Good idea. Okay, so you can slide them over. Hey, the first one, there we go. Hans has got it. He's got it. I saw it. All right, so put your two yellow bears so we can make that sentence true, right? All right, next sentence. Pointers. Let's practice. I see three green bears. Do you see them? Do you see them? Maybe um, Mr. Andy, Mr. Andy, 
can you have my friend Tate? Can you find my friend Tate? Hi, Tate. How you doing? All right. I want you to help me read that one more time. Let's read that sentence one more time, okay? Tate, you ready? Yeah. Okay. So we can read together. Ready? I. Can you read it with me? No. I. I see. We. Green. Bears. That's your brain. That was amazing. All right. I already have one green bear. How many more bears do I need, Tate? Two. Yes. All right. We need three all together. So all my friends, I already put one. So can you all put three green bears? So I have one, two, and three. Do you guys all do it? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Tate. You're amazing. All right. My next sentence. Okay, ready? Finger. Mine says, <clears throat> mine says, I see two blue bears. I see two blue bears. So, I already have one bear. Where's my friend, uh, Mr. Andy? Can you find Grayson, my friend Grayson? Hi, can you see me? Hi, Grayson. Do you hear me? <laughs> you're making, you're making, do you see me? Okay, now, I already have one bear, blue bear, and I want to make two. How many do I need? Pay attention. Pay attention. He's talking to you. He's talking to you. What are you doing? So I already have one bear, and I need, I need two all together. So you need... I need... One. Grayson, pay attention. Four. Do you hear me? How many bears do I need? If I already have one... I how many, and we need two. We need what, how many bears? Oh, yes, yes, that was perfect. All right, all my friends that all my friends. Let's make sure there's two bears right there. One and two, because the the sentence says I see two blue bears. Do you guys all see those two blue bears? Put your goggles on. It looks like everyone wants to do that. All right, sounds good. All right, last. Last one on my paper is, I see six purple bears. I see six purple bears. Now, let's count how many purple bears I have so far. One, two, three. I only have three. And I have to get all the way to six, okay? So make sure you get your purple bears and put, slide them over to your sentence. Ready? Let's count together. And let's, I'll add some two at the same time. One, two, three. Keep on counting. Four, five, and six. Whew, that was a lot of counting. <laughs> All right. My paper has to turn because they were, they were so big. All right, oh, I found a new color. What color is this? Hmm, what color is this? Let's see. It starts with that sound, grr, grr. Does anybody know what's that, what's that, what's that color? Hmm. All right, on the count of three, I want everyone to say it out. Just scream it out, ready? What color is it? Green! It's green! Yes. <laughs> All right, ready? I see five green bears. All right, do we see five? Let's count to make check our answers. One, two, three, four. We need one more. We need one more. All right, add your bears. Five bears. All right. All right, next one. Favorite. Favorite finger. I see one blue 
there. Do you see him? Do you see the blue bear? He's hiding underneath the card. Do you see him? <laughs> His little ears. Ready? I'm going to slide him out. Ready? Ready? Boop. Here he is. Did you see him? He was hiding. He's playing hide go seek. It's a rainy day game, maybe. So, everyone, make sure you put that one blue bear. Oh, there we go. All right. All right, let's see if I can get a helper for the next sentence. Okay, pointer. <gasps> Looks like Ruhani. Can we find Ruhani? She raised her hand. She'd like to help. Yeah. All right, favorite finger. But everybody can read at the same time, too. So don't be confused. Hi, Ruhani. How you doing? Can you help me read this next, this next sentence? Ready? Is I see awesome. five orange bears. Oh my gosh, you just read that. That was amazing. I love that. All right, <clears throat> so let's count how many bears I have. Because remember, we want five. Okay, ready? One, two. two. It says I have five orange bears. And I only have two. So how many do I need more? more. Three. Yes. All right, let's find. Do you notice one of my bears are hiding? Red one. <laughs> There's one here. So we're going to put, we're going to add. We're going to add right here. So we have one, two, three, three, five. Okay. One, two, three. Four and five. Yay! That was amazing. Kiss your brain. That was great. All right, last one. Last one. You ready? I see three red bears. I see three red bears. Okay. I already have one. So how many do I need? Show me in fingers. How many bears do I need? I need to. Thanks, Abigail. That was amazing. All right. So let's add to those bears quickly. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. So, all right. We have, I see three red bears. Mm, that's a lot of gummy bears. All right. Are we ready to dance? Should we dance a little bit? Should we dance and get our wiggles out? All right. Where's my speaker? I found a special dancing song for today, okay? It's called the Gummy Bear Dance Song. Have you ever heard of the Gummy Bear Dance Song? Yeah? All right, let's all stand up. I gotta get to my music, hold on. And it should be like right there, because I set it up. Okay, ready? Okay, right, ready? Stand up and get our wings. Oh gosh, that's crazy. Okay, dance now. Candy Crush just started. Isn't that awesome when it works out like that? Okay, ready? <laughs> this is called the Gummy Bear Song. You can eat them too. Go on, get those wiggles out because I think Miss Karen is almost ready. Woo! Or Miss Penny. Okay. Woo! That was good. Good song, right? I found it. Just for this, just for this math. All right. Have a super thumbs up Thursday. Okay. I love you all. All right, thank you, Ms. Allison. Everybody say thanks to Ms. Allison. Goodbye, goodbye, I love you. And let me find Ms. Penny here. All right, Penny. Yep, I'm Penny. ready. All right, there's Ms. Penny. Hi guys, happy Thursday. 
We're gonna do our song that we did last week. This one you can do sitting down, okay? It's really fun. You ready? Yeah. Remember, we're gonna use our hands. Wiggle your fingers. Come on, shake your hands. Shake with me. Come on and shake. Shake, 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 shake. Shake, 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 shake. Touch your ears. Touch your nose. Touch your mouth and your chin below. Move your head all around. Move your head all around. Good job. should be nice and loose and ready to write. Okay, are we ready? All right, so we're gonna practice writing some letters today, okay? So the first one we're gonna do is the letter M. And M says, mmm. Everybody rub your tummies and say, mmm. All right, are you ready? Get your pencil or marker ready, here we go. We're gonna go straight line down, come up and make a hump and make another hump. What animal has humps? A camel, right? All right, so let's make another M. Straight line down, come up, make a hump, come back up again and make another hump. All right, should we try it again? All right, here we go. Straight line down, Come back up, make a hump. Come up again and make another hump. Let's do one more M. Straight line down, come up, make a hump. Come back up again and make another hump. All right, so I want you to look at all of your M's and you're gonna circle your best M. Hmm, I think my second M is my best. M. Did everybody find their best M? Yes? Good job. All right, let's go on to this letter A. Do you remember what sound A makes? A, A, A. Those are the three sounds that A makes. So we're going to start at two o'clock. Watch me go around and stop and then a line down next to it. Do you see that? All right, can we do one together? Everybody, let's do it together. Two o'clock, 
Go around, stop, put a line next to it. A. Are you making beautiful A's? Good job. Here we go. Let's make another one. Two o'clock, go around, stop, put a line next to it. A. All right. Everybody's getting it? Good. Let's make one more A. Are you ready? Two o'clock. Go around, stop, put a line next to it, A. I see everybody writing, good job. Now let's look at your A's and find your best A. I think my third A is my best A, so I'm going to circle it. All right, did everybody circle their best S, I mean A? All right, good job. All right, we're going on to the letter S. Remember S says Okay, so we're gonna start at two o'clock. We're gonna go around and then bring it back. That S came out silly, but I'm gonna try it again. All right, everybody, make, your, make an S. Go around and back. Good job. This is a tricky one. It's like a little snake. All right, let's try it again. Start at two o'clock, go around and come back. All right. Good job. Should we try one more? Start at two o'clock, go around and come back. All right. All right, after you make your S's, I want you to look at your S's and circle your best S. I think my fourth one is my best S. So I'm gonna circle it. Good job. All right, we're going on to Mr. T. Remember T says T, T, T. All right, and T has two lines, all right? The first one goes top to bottom, stop, come back up and cross it. All right, you ready? Here we go, everybody. Top to bottom, come back up, give it a cross, T. All right, let's try another one. Top to bottom, come back up, give it a cross. All right, should we try one more? Top to bottom, come back up and give it a cross. Good job. Now let's look at your T's and I want you to circle your best T. Hmm, I think my first one was my best one. So I'm gonna circle that. All right, did everybody circle their best T? I see some of us are still working. So I'm gonna give you a few minutes. Okay, friends. All right, the next thing we're going to do is our writer's workshop. All right, so since I've been home, I've been wondering what kind of things can I do? I can go out and ride a bike. Miss Allison did that um, a couple of weeks ago. Um, I could plant some flowers. What else can I do? I can draw pictures. I can watch television. Or my most favorite thing that I can do is read a book. So my writer's workshop is going to be about me reading a book. Okay. All right, everyone. I'm, I forgot to show you. 
This was the first page we used. And now we're going to use our writer's workshop page, okay? That I have upside down, sorry. Okay, so the first thing we have to do, Ms. Penny forgot last week was name on your paper first thing. All right, so I'm going to write Miss Penny. All right, can everyone write their name? I will wait until you get it done. If you wrote your name already, let me see a thumbs up if you wrote your name already. Thumbs are good. Good, Rohani. All right, I want to see thumbs up. Okay. All right, so I'm going to draw my picture, okay? Did you think about what you can do while you're home? All right, so mine is going to be, I'm going to read a book. So I'm going to need a lamp for some light. The top of my lamp almost looks like a trapezoid. All right, then I'm gonna do a line down. And this is the base of my lamp which is a rectangle, all right? I need a chair to sit in, right guys? So I'm gonna make a square. And then almost looks like a parallelogram. I'm gonna put it right there. All right, so there's my chair. Hmm. I'm missing from the picture, so I'm going to draw a picture of myself. Give myself two eyes, a nose, and a smile. And here's my body and my arms over here. All right. But before I read, I have to put my glasses on so I can see the words better. Hmm, now where am I going to get my book? I have a bookcase. So I'm going to make a long rectangle. And then I'm going to divide it up. Now I'm going to make some books. Now I'm ready to read. I have my light, my lamp, my chair, myself, and books. All right, all right, is everybody still drawing their pictures? I'll give you a few minutes. Okay, while you're drawing your pictures, I'm gonna write my sentence, okay? I'm going to draw a line for each word. I can read a book and put a period at the end of the sentence. Hmm. I is a trickster word. And is also a trickster word. Read. A is also a trickster word. Book. All right, so I'm going to go to my word wall. Here it is. I found the letter I. So I'm going to write I right here, top to bottom. Give it a bottom and a top. Okay, put this over here. I and, hmm, is this and? No, it's Y-O-U-U. -U. We don't need that word. I don't need that word. Is this k an k an can? So that's my next word. So I'm going to write it right here. C 
A and I'm going to put it over here. I can read. What letters do we hear? R. 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 E. E. I hear an E. Read. D. D. I hear a D, so I'm going to put a D here. All right, next word is easy peasy. A. Is this the word A? No, it's L I K E like. So I'm going to put that back. Let me try this one. Is this A? This is A, so I'm going to put it over here. A, two o'clock, go around, stop, line next to it. Good. I can read a b book. B. What's the first sound you hear? B. B. So I'm going to do a line down and give it a belly. Ugh. What, what letter says ugh? Remember the letter O? Ah, oh, ooh. Good. I'm going to put an O there. And what letter says k, book? K. Okay. So there's my sentence. I can read a book. Now I'm going to go back and write this correctly. Read R E. A, D, that's the word read. I'm gonna write book correctly. B, O, O, K. All right, so whatever your picture and your sentence is, your mom can go back and help you write the words that are not your, your trickster words, but words we don't know how to uh, write yet. She can write them correctly. And if you have time, you can go back and you can label your pictures. So this is a little amp. So I'm gonna write lamp right there. This is a chair. So I'm gonna write ch air. This is me, mm e. Oh, this is going to be a long word. This is my book case. So, book. Case. Oops, I'm going outside my line. All right, so I have labeled my picture and I wrote my sentence. Okay, guys? So, if you didn't finish your writer's workshop, you can finish it later. Okay, Mr. Andy, I am finished. Thank you, Penny. You're welcome. Oh, I forgot to say, everybody have a great weekend, and I'll see you next week. All right, bye. All right, bye-bye. All right, hang on, you're up. Okay, so we have a little time left. I thought we could play a game. Do you guys wanna play a game? I'm gonna call on you guys to help me. Um, so put all your stuff away. You don't need anything right now. You can put your handwriting away. Rahani's ready to play a game. So this is a game that we had in our classroom, and I played it a couple weeks ago with you guys. And it's kind of like teacher versus students. So we're going to see if I win or if you win. So we've got these shapes, and we're going to – I'm going to have some of you help me pick out cards. We're going to do one at a time. And then the person that gets all of theirs filled out first wins. Okay, so let's start with, Mr. Andy said Noah was working really hard. Noah. Noah? Say hi. 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 I don't see you. I like to see you. Let me find you. Okay, Noah. What is this word? I. I. So what shape is that? Ringo. 
It's a triangle. So like this is your guy's side. So I'm gonna stick, you got a point, cause you got the triangle. Now I'm gonna pick one for me and you're gonna read my card. What does that say? A-N-D. And. And, right. So this is my turn. So I get a point over here, okay? Let's see. Now it's yours. I got to pick a card. And there's some repeated words, which means you might not get that. Okay, what does this say? C H E says, da. Look how quick that was. All right. So far, you guys have two points. You guys are winning. And Miss Karen only has one. But let's keep going. What's this word again, Noah? T H E says, da. So where am I going to place this? By what shape? What shape is that? Circle. A circle. So it's going to go on my side, and we're going to put a circle. Okay. Let's pick one of yours. My side. <laughs> what do you say? You said that's my side. Okay. That your side is this side. This side is my side. What does this say? L I K E. Like. 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 Good job. Okay. Now like. it's going on your side. Going on your side. Okay, let's pick one more for me. What does this say? A N D. Look at it. What's that word? A N D. And. 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 Oh, but no. Look, Noah. I already have a circle. So I can't put this on there. So I kind of lose a turn. All right. Thanks for helping me. Let's pick somebody else to help me read some works. Great job, Noah. Angelina. Angeline? Oh, hi, Angelina. Are you ready to help me read some words? Yeah. Okay, so it's your turn. So I'm going to have you read this word. What word is this? A N D. Right. And. And. Good job. And. So, Angeline, what color shape is this? I mean, what shape is this? Heart. It's a heart. So, this is your guy's side. So, you get one on this side. So, boys and girls, look. So far, you have one, two, three, four points, and I have one, or one, two. I only have two. So you guys have four, I have two. That means you guys are winning. Okay, Angeline, what does this say? T-H-E says? The. The. Angeline, what have you been eating for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> It looks I like it was donuts. You were eating donuts. I can see it all over your face. Okay. So this goes on my side. So I get to put a no there. Okay. Oh, this is a hard word, Angeline. Let's see if you know this word. This is on your side. What does this say? T H E says the. The. Uh oh. You guys already have a heart. That means I can't put this one on. You lose a turn. Okay, let's try one more. This is going on my side. What is this word? I'm going to play. <laughs> what is this word? Play. Play. Good job. Okay, that goes on my side. All right, thanks for your help, Angeline. We're going to keep playing, and I'm going to have all of you start telling me the words, okay? This word says, this is your turn. A N D. What does it say? And. Yep. So I'm going to put it on that side. This is my turn. What is this word? T H E says the. So that goes on my side. Look, we still have some shapes that need to be filled. Okay, this is your turn. What is this word? Play. It's getting so close. Who's going to win? Okay, this is my turn. Mm, not right. Okay, so what does that go on? What shape? The star. So it goes on this side. Okay, now it's your turn. Oh, it's that same word. What's that word? Not. It goes over here. Okay, so let's check it out, guys. You guys have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven done. And I have one, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness. If you're joining for our next class, we're just about to finish a, a game. Okay, 
My turn. What's that word? Play. And it's going to go next to what shape? The heart. Okay. Your turn. You guys, you only have two points left to take. You have to get a heart and a circle to win. Let me put my hand in. Oh, I hope it's not a heart or a circle. Oh, it's a circle. What's this word? I, I see Noah sees it. Okay, it's my turn. T-H-E says the. And we are going to put it next to the octagon, okay? All you guys need to get is a star. I'm so scared. Do you want to see what shape you're getting? It's a star. What letter is that? What word I? You guys, look. You had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. So who won? Did the teacher win or the students? You guys won. All right. Thanks for playing that game with me, even though I lost. So you guys are done with your class. If you want to stay on, we're going to move into our next class. But if not, guess what? You can watch some of our videos on Mondays and Fridays, and we'll be back on Tuesday. So I hope we see you guys all back on Tuesday. Remember, there's tons of fun stuff on the website if you want other activities to work on. All you have to do is message me, and I'll tell you what things I think you should pick for your kids. So have a great day, you guys, and we're going to get started with our second class. Bye, Evelyn. Bye, guys. Okay, I see some new friends on, and you guys are stuck with me at the beginning. So parents, we are starting with preschool. We're still on our preschool week six. Just a couple housekeeping things. Remember to put your child, oh, Aaron's here, and Mason's here. Make sure you put your child's name, like I see Michael Mackley. They don't know your daughter's name. So if you can put your daughter's name in that spot for the Zoom um, thing, Andy, where do they find it? And the three dots at the top of the hand, right hand corner, you can change your child's name. That way when we call out, we've got their name right there. So that's step one. Step two is we only have classes Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I would recommend for your kiddos that you find our three o'clock class if you still want to do classes on Mondays and or Mondays and Fridays. Because that's our kindergarten class and your guys are definitely ready for it. Oh, it's Grace. Okay, Grace, I'll remember that. Um, all of that is on our YouTube channel, The Reading Corner. Um, I'm hoping you guys have the curriculum in front of your kids because it's going to help them a lot when we get started in a, in a minute. Um, if you don't have the curriculum and you want to get access to it, um, I can't figure out how to change the name. So it looks like there's like these three dots. Just put your child's name in, in for now. So we'll know that that was Grace. And um, just put in your child's name in the chat and we can figure out later. Um, Okay, so anyways, the other thing that you can say, uh, do is, if you want the um, access to the curriculum, just go to our website. Hi, Jesse. I see Jesse. Um, go to the website and um, click on Access Library, Karen's Weekly Picks, and then for this class, you go into Preschool. So next week, it'll say Preschool Week 7. Um, and I love how Mason has like 18 different emojis next to his name. You're a pretty smart cookie for figuring that out. That would be Kendall. Kendall would do that. Um, and so we're gonna get started. On Mondays, I go over the curriculum on Reading Corner Online Instagram and let's get started. So parents, we are using the Thursday curriculum. I just wanna give you a heads up really quick. I'm going to start with this sentence activity. And the reason I'm starting with that is because I wanna give you a chance to cut out the pieces of our morning message. And I want to give you a chance to cut out the CVC words on this activity. So while you guys are cutting that out um, for your kids, we are going to get started. So I love these sight word activities. I think I told you guys that. I kind of love everything that we do. It's pretty fun. Do you guys have this in front of you? Okay. So the way we do this is we talk about our trickster words, right? And I feel like I need to get this more in front of you than you guys need to see that more than you need to see me. And so we've got all these sight words up here. 
I see C cell. I see you guys getting your stuff ready. I love it. So I had some crayons. I bet Molly stood, stole my crayons. Maybe Mr. Andy can go and find me some crayons downstairs. Um, and what I like to do is I like to color in the crayons. Hi, Logan. I like to color in the sight words as I read the sentences. So we only do a couple of them because I want you guys to be able to do it yourself. And guys, remember we talked about that ch book, book chart? When I have in my class, when we do a literacy story, we put it in a sleeve and keep it in a binder. So then you guys have more books that you can read. Like they're like little mini books. But this is another really great one to add to that. What I like to do with this also is once you guys have gotten really good at reading them, get a fidget spinner or a timer and see how fast you can read the sentences and then do it again and then do it again. And I bet you'll see that you read them faster every time. Okay, so let's start by talking about the words at the top, those trickster words, right? What is this word? You guys have it on your paper. C, sure is. What is this word? At, at, did, did, do, you, and I. And what do we always say when we see an I by itself? It's always, yes. Okay, so I only wrote three of the sentences and I want to read the sentence first. So I'm gonna read it and then you're gonna read it. Can you guys help me with this? Let's see how many of these words aren't gonna trick you. I did not see the big dog. Oh, I see the word T-H-E says the, and it's not one of the ones that we're gonna be practicing today. So you can go ahead and just circle that one. Circle T-H-E says the. Okay, great. Now we're gonna get started with our words. Nope. I think Molly stole my crayons. Do you guys think Molly stole my crayons? How many you think Molly stole my crayons? So silly. Well, I'm just gonna use my marker, it's okay. All right, so the first word I want you guys to find on your paper is the word C. So find your orange, your yellow, ah, your red crayon, and see how many times you find the word C. Logan, let's see you try it. I see one, two. See if you found two on your paper. Okay, so I'm just gonna circle them on my side. One, two, two. All right, the next word is the word at. Can you get your green marker and circle the word at? I don't see any of them because I only did three of the sentences, but you guys might have some in more of the sentences towards the bottom. There's only one, how silly is that? If you look all the way at the bottom, there is one word at, do you see it? Do you circle it? Okay, ready? The next word is the word did. Now this one's silly because we know it's gonna have two b -b bellies or d, d diapers. Diapers, and listen, this one is trying to trick you because I see the word did, but it's at the beginning of the sentence, which means it's gonna have a capital letter. So here's the word did, here's the word did. Ooh, this one's so hard because I see the word big and dog. Those are all some really tricky letters. They kind of like get mixed up. So here's the word did on your paper. Here's the word did, and I'm gonna give you a second, and you can find the rest of them on the rest of your sentences. If you want to finish it now, or you can finish it later. All right, the next word is the word do. I see the word do in the third sentence. Can you guys find the word do and color it orange? Awesome. Okay, and remember, you can finish those other ones later. We've got a lot to do today. And I like to just start activities with you guys so that you can finish them because you're so big that you're doing things independently like, all by yourself. So we're just gonna do a couple of them. Oh, 
this is one of my favorite words and it's my favorite color. It's the word Y-O-U says. And then you're gonna find the pink crayon and you're gonna find the word what? Oh, this one's a silly one again because it's found at the beginning of the sentence, which means it's gonna have a capital letter. So it looks a little different. Why, oh, you says you. I love this activity. Cause now when we're done with it, you guys, it's gonna be so much easier to read cause it's all color coded. Pretty cool. Okay, and the last sentence word I see is the word I. And so it's at the beginning of a sentence. So it's gonna say I in blue. And I see one down here too. And if it's in the middle of a sentence, it's still uppercase because when we see an I by itself, it's always tall. Yeah. And here's another thing I do. I like to get another color and possibly color in another sight word if you guys want to do that. So I might get the color gray and I might color all the words the. But we're not going to finish that right now. I'm going to give you a minute because I see all of you working so hard. Go ahead and finish coloring things in while I get our next activity ready. Because I see that you guys are working really hard. And I'm going to say good morning to some people. Good morning, April. Good morning, Bryn. Good morning, Yvonne. Good morning. Oh, it's not Frankie. That's your daddy's name. Is it Adeline? And we've got Ella Rose and Erilyn and Peyton. Good morning, Peyton. Good morning, Charlotte. Good morning, Jackson and Madison and Maya. Okay. So, oh, there's Giovanni. Good morning, Giovanni. Good morning, Emerson. You guys are working so hard. I don't want to stop you. Good morning, Avery. Okay, guys, I am so excited about this next part. Did you see that you have a morning message in your work today? There's Jake. He's working hard. So set this aside. I know it's kind of frustrating because you want to finish things, but I really want to make sure that we get to all of activities. And this gives you stuff that you can finish later. Did you guys see that you have a morning message? Just like me. Avery's got it. How fun is this? So listen, you can write in the words, but I thought it might be kind of easier for you if you have the things down here to cut out. So I got those all ready for you, all right? And if you don't have it, you're gonna watch me because I'm still gonna do our morning message. Okay, Jayla, I love those earplugs, that you, those um, headphones you got on. All right, so listen, I'm gonna need help. It wasn't this cat right here. But do you guys remember that we decided that there is a cat that takes all my stuff off? Jordan, do you remember what cat it was? Molly. We think Molly messes up my stuff every day. Okay, Liam, are you ready? I need help to figure this out. The first word says, howdy. Do you guys remember what two-letter phonogram, if you can call it on someone, says, Oh, hi, Yovani. I've missed you, buddy. Okay. Oh, Yovani. There's a Giovanni. We'll go to Giovanni later. Let me find. Hi, Yovani. Are you ready to help me? Yes? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Honey, what's in this pink dress right there? What's your name? Yeah, we're gonna find some, let's go to Bryn. Hey Bryn, can you help me? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right, so we have the word howdy and I know it has the two letter phonogram, ow, o. Which of these says ow, o? W. You're right, right. O, W, I saw you pointing to it. Okay, can you guys put the O, W on your morning message? Okay, ready? Howdy, silly. Oh, what word do you think I'm, I'm trying to have? I think I'm trying to find the word friends. Do you guys see the word friends in the options that you have? I, I, I have it in my hand. You do? Okay, you can glue that 
right in that space there. And for some reason, I don't have that word, so I am going to write it in myself. Okay. All right, Bryn. It says, what day? Hmm. I think this is going to be the word is. Do you see the word is? Show it to me. Yeah, good job. You guys, find the word is and stick it right here. What day is it today? A. What two letter phonogram says A, friend? Is it A Y or N G? A Y. You're so smart. What today is, Bryn? What is today? It's not Wednesday. What's after Wednesday? Thursday. Thursday. Okay, all of you find the word Thursday and stick it right here. How fun is this? You guys get your like own little morning message. It's so fun. Let's pick somebody else to help us figure out. Thanks, friend. You are a big help. And remember, parents, I always say keep like a thing of crayons or markers, a pencil, a glue stick, a scissors. Just kind of keep all that to the side because we kind of use a little bit, especially the more we try to get interactive. All right, who are we going to? Sure. Where's my Caden? Men were sent down to people to go cases. Let me find you, buddy. I don't know some of these cases. How we gonna close them if we don't have certain? All right, Caden, can you help us today? Mm -hmm. Can you help us? Okay, Caden. It says, "Do you?" What word says L I K E like? All right, cool. I just said it. Do you see the word like? Do you have the paper in front of you? Use your words, Caden. I do. <laughs> Okay, can you find the word like and put it on your paper? And all of you, find the word like and put it on your paper. On your book, on your thing. Put the word like. Got it? Hayden, are you in your pajamas? Speaking to you. I love it. Got it? Where's all right, Hayden, listen. It says, do you like hunt? Hayden, do you like to go on scavenger hunt? Yeah, sure oh, you're doing a great job. You're writing it. I love it. Look at that awesome writing. Okay, Kanan, it says, do you like hunt? Y O U. What does Y O U say? I said you right there. She's talking to you as a Miss Karen. <laughs> what sound does Y O U say? Yes. What does Y O U spell, Kaden? You. Okay. You, you're right. Can you find the word you? Everybody find the word you. I see Mason's working hard. And stick it there. You are going. Oh, this is a hard one. Let's go to Mason and see if he can help me with this one. Thank you, Caden. Mason, do you remember that two letter phonogram that says, mmm? What says, mmm? Mm. Which one is it? Yeah, show me yes. here. Look, N-G. Okay, can you stick it there? And then look, that's one of our trickster words, you guys. <laughs> we did it. D-O going. N-G. You are going, oh, are you guys ready? Let's see what it's gonna say. To go on a, Mason, the words furniture. <laughs> what letter do you hear at the beginning of exactly. furniture? What letter says letter? Hold what is it? F. You're right. Everybody find the word F and stick it on there. That Molly is not going to trick us anymore, <coughs> is she? She's not going to trick us because we're going to figure everything out. Okay, so Mason, I need your help. It says, oh, you Mason's are right. going to go on a furniture hunt. What sound makes the sound? over. Hey, you're right. I hope you guys are following along. 
And remember, you can write the words too, but I just thought it'd be fun to kind of fill it in. Oh my goodness. You guys are gonna go on a furniture hunt. How fun is that? Not right now, you're gonna wait. But we're gonna finish our morning method. It is going, <gasps> Mason, I need the word two. Can you find the word two? Here it is. Good job. Can you guys put the word two? It is going to be a, ooh, I'm thinking of the word b blast. What sound do you hear at the beginning of b b b? It is going to be a blast. B b Pick it. She's waiting for you. Uh huh. Let me see it. Yes, it's the B. Good job. Thanks, Mason. I heard it was your birthday last week. Happy birthday. Okay. I need one more person to help me finish this book, this morning message. Giovanni, can you help me, buddy? All right, Giovanni, I have a few more that need to be fixed. Can you, oh, look, you look so official in that big boy desk. Is that your daddy's desk or your mommy's desk? Yeah, you look very official. It is going to be a blast. Be good, good. What two-letter phonogram says, ooh, uh? Does this say ooh, uh, or does this say ooh, uh? The O's. The O's, you're right. The O's say ooh, uh. Can you guys all find this? Good. Be good and. Do you see the word A-N-D and? Do you have it in front of you? Let me see it. Show me it. You already glued it. Show her. Oh, you already glued it. What a great guy. There it is. All right. There's the word and. Good job, Giovanni. Okay. It be good and have. What's this word? Listen to my sound. Uh. Mm. Say fun. I hear mommy saying fun. There it is. Where's my baby? Where's Gracie? Sleeping. Ah, oh, she's sleeping. I miss that sweet girl. All right, Giovanni, thank you for helping me. Did you guys have fun doing this morning message? And look, you guys get to go on a furniture hunt. How cool is that? So I'm gonna do one as well, and then you guys don't do it right now. You get to do it, you could do it tomorrow. And I'm gonna go on one at my house. And you get to put tally marks, or just dots, for how many chairs you see, how many tables you see, how many, I have a lot of lamps, I don't know why, but I'm gonna probably have a lot of lamps. It's gonna take me a long time. So you guys make sure you do your scavenger hunt and send me pictures of it. Cause I wanna see you guys having your scavenger hunt. Okay, let's move on. And we are going to do just a couple of these. So you can have these cut out. And if you don't have them cut out, it is okay. Because you could just point to them too. Hmm. If I could find it. There it is. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna say a word, and then you guys are going to find that word and glue it where it's supposed to go. All right, so my word is a, uh, listen to my words, a, uh, okay. What sound do you hear at the beginning of hut? An H. So find a word that has an H. Which of these two words has an H? Yep, this one. So I'm gonna take the word hut. Miss Karen is a mess today. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna write it because I can write pretty fast. Uh, okay, listen. My word, let's call on someone real quick. Reagan. Reagan, my word is uh mm. what's that word? Um sun. Do you see a word that starts with the letter sun? 
No, can you show her? Okay, great. Okay, you guys are gonna put the word sun underneath the what? Oh, sad. Look, so we do, this is a tricky one because there are two. This one says sad, this one says sun. So make sure you find the one that says sun and put it right underneath. Okay, we're gonna do two more before we go to Miss Morgan. All right, my word is what What's that word? He called my name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's that word? What at? Can you say it? Wet. Wet. Good job. Okay, and I love your nail polish. Um, okay, you're welcome. All right, so find the picture, everybody, that shows the um, shirt that is wet. Woof. At. And you can glue it under there. Sounding out three letter words is really hard, you guys. And you're doing a great job. Let's do one more. Okay, you ready? My word is mm, app. What's that word? Map. Map. P -p 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 -p. Yep, you got it. What letter is at the beginning of map? What letter is the beginning? Mm. You gotta tell her what letter is that? M. M. Good job. All right. All right. Great job, guys. We are going to leave that to the side. So, again, just take your activities and set them to the side, and then you can finish them later. And remember, every time you put something on there, you get to put something on your book chart. How many of you guys have a book chart started? Good, because those book charts are so fun. We're going to move over to Matt. Oh, my goodness. I forgot to tell you. We have a special surprise today. You guys get to do science with Miss Pearlstein today. Woo! Are you guys so excited about science? I can see it. Okay, but first we're going to do math because math is really important as well. So we're going to say hi to Miss Morgan. Everybody wave to Miss Morgan. Hi, guys. How is everybody? Give me a thumbs up if we're doing good today. Let me see who's watching. Yeah, all right. Okay, so the activity that I need you guys to pull out today are these two. Okay, so you have one that has all the shapes with numbers, and then you have this one that has um, words and numbers. Okay, so before we start this lesson, we're gonna do a quick refresher on our shapes, okay? Because we have to find the shapes in order to color them, right? So we're just gonna do a quick refresher on our shapes. So let's see. Um, all right, I'm gonna call on some of you guys to help me and tell me what shape it is, okay? So let's see. Natalia, can you tell me what shape this is? Hold on one second. Let's see if Mr. Andy can find you first. Can you raise your hand? Rigolato? Hang on. I'm, oh, there she is. I got it. Sorry. Okay. Miss Morgan's new to this calling on people. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you hear us, Natalia? I unmuted her, so. Okay. Oh, wait. See. Hang on. There we go. Okay. Natalia, yeah. can you tell us what shape this is? A heart. A heart. Good job. Can you guys make sure that you know where your heart is on your paper? All right. So the next one. Thank you, Natalia. Okay. So the next one, let's see. Can I get... Um, let's see, let's see. Mason, can you tell everybody what shape this is? 
Mason. Mason, she's calling you. Mason, what shape is this? A circle. Okay, so everybody find the circle on their, their shape her, um, page. Okay, the next one is kind of tricky for some people. Okay, here's my shape. It kind of looks like a square, but it's longer. So, Matthias, Matthias, can you hear me? Raise your hand, bud. There you are. Can you tell everybody what shape this is? Like a long square. What is that called? A rectangle, good job. Because it looks like a square, but it's longer. So it's a rectangle. Good job, Matthias. All right, let's see. I'm gonna start getting some couple hard ones out there. Okay, we're gonna do a couple more and then we're gonna move on. So let's see, we all know that this is a star, right? Everyone know that's a star? And we know that's a square. What shape, let's see if I can see who else is. Avery, hey bud. All right, looks like Avery's eating his breakfast. Let's see if I can get him on here real quick. Hey bud, how are you? Hi. Can you tell me what shape this is? It has three sides. Rectangle. Not a rectangle, triangle. so triangle. Good job, because we know that three means try, right? So we have our triangle. Good job. Okay, so we know we have a heart square. What is a long circle called? A long circle is called an oval. Good job, oval. I see Grace, I, I saw her say oval. Good job, Grace. Okay, then we have our triangle. Okay, this is another tricky shape, okay? So this is how I teach my kiddos this shape. So it kind of looks like the triangle, right? So we start by making our triangle, but then this line traps it. It traps it. So let's see, um, who do I have on here? Erilyn. Yeah. Hey, Erilyn. Do you Hi. know what shape this is that starts like a triangle but then gets trapped at the top? Uh, yeah. What shape is this? A I can't see it. Oh, you can't see it? Yeah, I can't see it. Oh, okay. Okay, then I'll come back to you later, okay? Let's see. Um, Madison, do you know it? Yeah? Okay. Hold on. Okay, what is that one? A trapezoid. A trapezoid. Good job. So remember, it kind of looks like a triangle, but then gets trapped by that line. So that's how we can remember it's a trapezoid. Good job. Okay. So this one's one that we haven't really worked on in, in class, but this one is a parallelogram. See how it's like a long rectangle, but kind of to the side? So we call that a parallelogram, okay? Then we have our star, our rectangle. We have this shape that I'm gonna ask one more person if they know. We have our circle, another square, which is also a diamond shape when it's this way. So these two I need help with because those are our last two shapes we're gonna do before we start our activity. So let's see. This one has, well, I'm gonna count how many sides it has because I'm not sure what it is. So I have one, two, three, four, and five, okay? So it has five sides. Hmm, so I know that it could be one of the, the gons, right? but it has the point on the top, okay? So who can raise your hand if you know what shape this is? 
Let's see. Um, Grace, let's go to you. Okay. Hi, Grace. What shape? Pentagon. Is it's a what? Pentagon. A pentagon. That one, good job. That one's a hard one. So I teach my class to remember it because it has the point at the top. So p for point and p for pentagon. Good job, Grace. Kiss your brain. Okay, so pentagon. Okay, our neck, our last tricky shape we're gonna do before we start our activity is this one, okay? So I need you guys to help me count how many sides so we know what shape it is. Okay, ready? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides. Who knows what shape has six sides. Emma Carroll. Let's see, hold on one second. Hey, Emma. Hi. Do you know what shape has six sides? What, sh what shape is that? A hexagon. A hexagon. Good job, Emma. So Emma is in my class and she knows it's a hexagon because she hears that sound in it. So the number six has the x sound and so does hex. So we know that the sixth side is a hexagon. Good job, Emma. Okay, so let's start our activity. So I'm going to do one side of them with you, and then you're going to do the other side on your own. Okay, so I folded it in half, and we're going to do a couple together. Okay, so do you know what more than means and less than? Give me a thumbs up if you guys know what more than and less than means. Okay, so some of us do, some of us don't. Okay, so more than means if I have the number nine and I need something that's more than number nine, that means it has to be a higher number, okay? Because I need more than this. So if I find my nine on the line, I know anything more than that is gonna go this way. If, I, if it says less than, that means I need something less than the number nine, which mean, less means not as many, right? So we're gonna go for less than, I would go this way, okay? So more than nine, less than nine, okay? So the first one on the activity says, one more than 12, okay? That number 12 is one of our trickster numbers, right? But we're not gonna let it trick us today. So number 12 on the number line is right here. If it says more than 12, I want you to give me a thumbs up if I'm going higher. I wanna give you, give me a thumbs down if I'm going lower. So I need one more than 12. So thumbs up if I'm going higher, thumbs down if I'm going lower. We're going thumbs up. Good job, Giovanni. I see you up there with that thumbs up. All right, so number 12. So one more than 12, I'm gonna skip to one more. And what number do I have? 13, good job, guys. Can you find the shape on your other page that has the number 13? Hint, it's shaped like a diamond, which is also called a rhombus. Good job, guys. So you are going to color in the shape of the 13. Okay. The next one says, here, we're going to go to one, this side. One less than 12. One less than 12. So we start at our 12 again. We know that more than goes 
that way, which is the thumbs up, and less than goes that way, so thumbs down. So we're going 12, and we're gonna go one less than 12. Good job with those thumbs down, I love it, guys. So we're going one down to what number? 11, good job, the number 11. Can you guys find, oh, there's more than one shape that has the number 11. So, Miss Morgan's gonna give you hints to which one I want you to color. So the answer is number 11, but I want you to find color in the shape that has three sides. The one that has three sides. Is the three-sided one the rectangle? Or is it the triangle? It's the triangle, good job guys. It's the triangle. So we, you guys are gonna color for that one, the triangle. Okay, the next one is going to be, let's see. We are going to do one more than 15, okay? So when you guys were on last week, if you were on with Miss Morgan, we talked about the teen numbers, okay? So when we have teen numbers, what number goes ahead in front? Which number? What makes it a teen? The number one, okay? So the teen numbers, Rocky, the number one, okay? So we know it's one of these numbers. So 15, 15. So I hear a f for five. So here's our 15, okay? So I have 15 and this one asks to go one more than 15. So do I need a thumbs up or a thumbs down? More, more. Oh, I love all those thumbs up. Good job, guys. You are correct. Everybody kiss their brain. Mwah. One more. So if I go one more than 15, what number do I have now? 16, good job guys. Can you find the shape that is a 16? I'll give you a hint. It kind of looks like a rectangle, but it's tilted. Do you remember what shape we said that was? A Parallelogram. That's a long word, huh, guys? Can you say it with me? Parallelogram. Good job. Okay, so if we have one more than 15, let's do one less than 15. So do I need a thumbs up or a thumbs down for less than? Let me see those, oh, there we go. I see some thumbs going up. It's thumbs down, less than. So one more is 16, but if we go one less, we're gonna go backwards. And what number do we have? 14, good job, guys. What shape has the number 14? What shape has the number 14? It's the heart, good job. So you're gonna go ahead and color the heart for 14. Okay, we're gonna do one more set of more than less than, okay? And then I think you guys are ready to do the rest on your own because you guys are rocking this. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do, okay, one more than 10. So where's our number 10 on the number line? Is this the number 10? No. Is that the number 10? Yes, good job guys. So I'm at my number 10 and I wanna do one more than number 10. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Which way are we going? One more than 10. Good job, thumbs up, that's right. So we're gonna go one more than 10 and what number do we get? One of those trickster numbers. 
11. I hear you, Reagan. Number 11. All right. So if you're going to find the number 11 in your shapes, remember we already colored in one of the 11s, okay? We colored in the one that had three sides, which is a triangle. So now, what shape do we have left with the number 11? What shape is that? Is that a square? No, what shape is it? It's a rectangle. Good job. I, Reagan, Grace, Frankie, I hear all of you guys. Good job. All right, so our last one. Ready? And then you guys are gonna rock this on your own. All right. I need to find one less than the number eight. So let's find our eight on our number line, okay? Oh, there it is. Okay, so one less. Do I need to do a thumbs up and go this way or a th thumbs down and go that way? Which way? Yeah, thumbs down. Good job, Avery. Good job, Emerson. All right, so we are going to go one less than the number seven. So we're going to jump backwards one. And what number do I have? The number seven. Good job. So find your number seven. <gasps> Here it is. What shape is that? Let's see who remembers. I'm going to call on someone to see if they remember. Which shape has the six sides? Let me see if I can get someone on this other page with me. Um, all right. All right. Oh, I see Miss Coral Stein on here. She's ready to go. I love it. All right. Can I get, I'm trying to see who I can see in here. Um, uh, under Dan Dene. See Dene. There we go. Hey. How are you? Can you tell me what number or what shape this is? Dene. Oh, you know what? That's probably her mom's name, huh? Yeah. Let's okay. uh, let's let Jordan knows the answer. Let me okay. unmute Jordan. Okay, unmute Jordan. I can't find. I don't see him on here. Let's see. He's unmuted. He's unmuted. Hey, Jordan. Oh, hi. Now I see you. Hi, Jordan. Can hi. you tell me what shape the number seven is? Hexagon. It is a hexagon. Good job. And how do we know it's a hexagon? Because it has six sides. Because it has six sides, so we know it's a hexagon. Good job. And Jake, I see you coloring in all those over there. I love it. All right. Good job, guys. All right. You guys did so good. Give me a thumbs up if you guys think you can do the rest on your own. You guys think you guys can do those now? I think you can. You guys rocked it. All right, you guys have a good rest of your day and enjoy your science with Miss Coral Stein today. I can't wait to see what she has up for today. All right, bye guys. All right, thank you, Morgan. All right, let's see if our crazy scientist is ready to go. I saw she was getting prepared. And I just gotta find her. Hi, boys and girls. How are you today? Is. How's everybody doing? Hi, Emma Carroll. Hi, Kaden. Hi, Aaron from Tampa and Reagan. Hi, Grace. Hi, Bryn. You guys will have to excuse me. My mustache is a little loose today, so I'm having to hold on to it. Hey, Peyton. Hey, Charlotte. Hi guys. All right. So today, let me get back. Let's hope this stays on this silly mustache. Today we are going to use a microscope. Raise your hand if you have a science kit at home and it has a microscope on it. Anybody? Oh, there's some of you. 
Well, a microscope is a special kind of camera and it can zoom in really closely on something so that we can see this, uh, oh, hold on, I was losing my computer for a second, um, where we can see small, 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 tiny, tiny, tiny details of something. Okay, so today I have some things on my plate. I'm getting my computer ready. Hold on one second. Hold on. I have some things on a plate here that we're going to try and test out. And we're going to use our microscope. And we're going to look at the teensy, teensy, teensy little details of it. Okay, hold on one second. Hold on. On our plate, we have a leaf, a green leaf, a piece of grass, and a gummy worm. We've cut the gummy worm in half so that we can look at the outside of it and we can look at the inside of it. And we have a banana and the inside of a banana and the outside. And we have a Cheez It, some toothpaste some glitter, and some gray sand, okay? So we're going to flip the phone around and we're going to look at my computer screen. Raise your hand if you can see that. Can everybody see that? Let me see if I can pull it up closer. Hold on. All right, so right now, my microscope is on my phone case. So if you were to pull away and look at my phone case, it's a very glittery one, but that's just where I have the microphone sitting. I mean the microscope. So the first thing we're gonna look at is a banana. And Emma Carroll, can you tell me what letter? Hold on, let me wait for you to get unmuted. Hold on one second. Is Andy on so he can unmute Emma Carroll? Hold on one second, friends. Do you want to unmute for me? Emma Carroll. Let me find you. I don't see her. So I'm going to, I'll just pick because it's kind of easier doing that. Like, That's right. Let's, um, let's pick Jayla. Jayla. Okay. Jayla, can you tell me, let me look for you on here. Can you tell me what letter does banana start with? Can you hear me? Oh, Jayla, can you unmute yourself? There we go. Can you hear me? Okay, can you tell me what letter does banana start with? B. B, that's right, B. So we're gonna take our microscope and we're going to go right down into this banana peel. Let me adjust the focus. So this is the peel, this is the inside of a banana peel. Is that what you think it would look like with a under a microscope? Look at that. And then this is a banana. Raise your hand if you eat bananas. Who likes bananas in here? Oh, I see lots of hands. Banana's a good one. All right. Thank you, Jayla. Let's see, um, Miss Karen, will you pick somebody else out? Hold on one second. Can you hear me, Miss Karen? Who did she yes, pick? Let's pick Maya. Maya, okay, Maya. Can you tell me what letter or what's Toothpaste starts with. Toothpaste. Do you know what letter that starts with, Maya? 
Maya, what letter does toothpaste start with? Oh, Ariana, sorry, baby. Ariana, oh. what letter does toothpaste start with? T. Good job. Good job. So we're going to take our microscope and we're going to zoom in on this toothpaste. Now, this toothpaste has a little bit of glitter in it or little sparkles of some sort. Now, if you were to look at that, is that what you think toothpaste would look like underneath a microscope? There's lots and lots of tiny, tiny parts to it. Let me zoom in here. Ooh. Next, we're going to look at glitter because you know I love glitter. Look at this glitter up close. There's all different shapes. I bet you guys could see some of these shapes because some of them were talked about with Miss Morgan. Look at that. It's almost like little pieces of mirror. And they look so big under the microscope, but if you were to actually look at them on the plate, they're very, very tiny. I see some purples and pinks, some iridescent blues. So cool. Next, we're gonna do sand. Now this sand is gray because it's a craft sand, but it's still made similarly to the sand that you would find at a beach. Look at that. Let me go farther into it. Look at how teensy tiny those grains of sand are. You wouldn't believe that they were so small if you were looking at them on the plate, but we use our microscope to zoom in on all sorts of specific parts of what we're looking at. This sand has all different shapes to it. Next, let's do a piece of grass. Let's see. Now this grass is green. Let me see if I can get it. No, she's not picking me. She's not picking you? Oh, oh I'm a mule. <laughs> who, was, who was it? Jordan, what sound, sound do you hear at the beginning of glitter? A G. A G. Good job, Jordan. And Miss Corley, what are you doing now? This, well, this is a piece of grass, but there's also a lot of glitter on it. So hold oh, okay. On. So what sound do you hear at the beginning of grass, Jordan? G. G. And what sound did you hear at the beginning of sand? S. Yes. Yeah. What's one thing that you would like to see under the microscope? Hmm. Um, bugs. Bugs. Bug. Ew. If I had a bug, bug, I would show you a bug. Bugs are fun to look at under microscopes, as long as they're not moving around. So this is a piece of grass. This would be, just, I got this from my front yard. Look at all the details. If you were to look at this piece of grass, there's no way with just our two eyes and not a microscope would we be able to see all the little dots and details in a piece of grass. Now, I want everybody to put a thumb up. Put your thumb up. Okay, everybody has their thumb up. I'm gonna show you what my thumbprint looks like under a microscope. And did you know that everybody's thumbprint is different? So nobody's thumbprint is exactly the same. That's what makes us so unique and special. So I'm going to look, and you might see glitter on mine just because I work with a lot of glitter. But look at my thumbprints. So this is on my thumb. Look at all of those curves. Looks kind of weird, doesn't it? All sorts of different ridges. Let me do a different finger. So if I were to look at your fingerprint underneath a microscope, it would look completely different from mine because we are all different with our thumbprints. All right, now we're going to look at a leaf. So this leaf was found in my front yard and it kind of has some of the same spots as the green grass did. But if we move it around, you see lots of white, 
flex and white lines. Let me focus. I don't know. It'd be cool if we had like a little bug on here we could see, but I don't see any. I see some white, some dark spots, some green. I think that if you like science, maybe for your birthdays or Christmas, you could ask for a microscope because the possibilities are endless onto what you can look at. You can find anything you have around. All right, our last piece, well, I have a cheese it, but our last one is a gummy worm. Who likes gummy worms or gummy bears or fruit snacks? Raise your hands. Jayla does, Jackson does. Oh, hey G, G does. How's it going? All right, so we are going to look at the gummy worm. Now this is the outside. Look at that, does that look like it would be tasty? No way. That is not what I would think a gummy worm would look like under a microscope. Ooh, it's got cracks in it. Does not look yummy. Look at that. That's the outside of the gummy worm. Harley, thank you, because Kendall is saying she'll never eat a gummy worm again now. <laughs> I don't believe her. Do you guys look think you'll me. eat gummy bears now that you know they look like that? Ew. This is the inside of it. How's that look? Do you still want to go out and eat these? Gordon doesn't look like he would want to eat it. Neither does to Caden. Caden and Reagan's like, no way. No way. That's kind of weird looking. Lastly, we have a Cheez-It. Raise your hand oh. if you love Cheez-Its. I used to love Cheez-Its. I hope they don't look gross. Do you guys like Cheez-Its? Logan likes them. Who else Jake likes them? Jake likes them. Emerson likes them. Oh, Jayla. All right, here we go. We're going to look at a Cheez It. Now, these are the Scrabble Cheez It. So there's the letter on it. It's the letter that makes the er sound. Which one makes, what letter makes the er sound? Can you find somebody, Miss Karen? Oh, sure. Logan, what sound makes the er sound? R. R. Good Logan, job. Logan, do you like Cheez Its? The Cheez Its? Yes. Me too. Unfortunately. All right. So we are going to look at the Scrabble Cheez It. Hold on one second. Ready? Here we go. Does that look like it would be a Cheez It if you were looking at it? Look at that. There's some. Um, Flavoring, maybe some salt pieces. That does not look like a cheese it at all to me. Look at that piece of salt right there. Can you believe that that salt is so, so tiny that if I looked at the cheese it, I wouldn't even be able to see it. But if I put it underneath the microscope, not only can I see it, but I can see it wedged in between the lines of the R. Look at that. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? All right, well, boys and girls, I loved doing the microscope with you. We did a gummy bear, a cheese it banana, a banana peel, glitter, sand, toothpaste, a leaf, and a blade of grass. So if you have a microscope at home, I would definitely encourage you to go out and explore and see what you can find to look at more closely. I hope you guys have a great, wonderful day, a fantastic weekend, and I will see you next week. Bye. Okay. All right. Thank you, Ms. Coral Stein. You did an awesome job. If you guys have microscopes, make sure you find other things that you can find. So we're out of time for today, but you guys still have some activities that you can do in your thing, like the handwriting. And I know there was a couple things we didn't get to this week. So you worked really hard this week. Great job. You guys are going to be so ready when you go back to school. Um, we will see you on 
Tuesday, and we will be in week seven of the curriculum. And if you guys had a favorite thing that we did, go ahead and message me, and I'll make sure it goes in there. So, like, if you love the sight word games, or you love the new morning meeting, so tell me what you like so I make sure I add it for the next week. So you have a great rest of the week, and we will see you Tuesday. Great wave. Bye, guys.